So last time, I did some one-point perspective inclines. Looked kind of like this. It's pretty intuitive. You have a incline going uphill, then you have a vanishing point up above, or if it goes downhill, then you have a vanishing point down below. They're always, almost always aligned with the center vision. And if you don't align them with the center vision, you get something that looks like this, or like a switchback road. So let's do, th these are going at a 90 degree angle to the picture plane. They're going back in space, they're foreshortened, so there's perspective to these. But if we have an uh, incline that is not um, going back in space, uh, an incline that is parallel to the picture plane, then those are the easiest ones. So let's make, we'll stick with the road theme and I'll um, make a road right here. We'll make it touch the picture plane. The front of the road is touching the picture plane here. And um, like if we're, we want to make it a specific depth and we can do this. We'll make it, I don't know, three units deep. We do that. And there's three. Now we have a road that is three units wide. It's easy. And we'll make this a, a little uh, sidewalk. Okay, so you're, so you're driving down this road and then you go through the sidewalk and then you hit a hill. And the hill is, let's see what 30 degrees looks like. If the road is going up at a 30 degree angle, you have a 30 degree incline and the lines you have drawn are parallel to the picture plane. It's, you just, it is easy. You just put down your triangle like this. And here is a 30 degree incline. There's no vanishing points to this. Because things that are, are parallel to the picture plane, they don't have vanishing points. Like if I put a little stop sign right here by the uh, sidewalk, here's, here's the pole, here's your stop sign. And this vertical line goes just straight up and down. It's parallel to the picture plane. If this stop sign fell over and fell at a 30 degree angle, it's going to be that, that angle and then it falls and it hits the ground, it's just going to be laying horizontally across the ground. Like if I have this, let's see if, I don't know how this is gonna work on the camera, but if here's my, my picture plane, right? If I have a 30 degree angle and it's parallel, you stick it right up against the picture plane like this, and I turn it like, like this, it is an actual 30 degree angle. But if this triangle was at an, was not parallel to the picture plane, and it was something like this, and then you look at it, then it's, now it's in perspective. It's not a 30 degree, true 30 degree angle, but things parallel to the picture. If I turn this, like whatever angle like this, these, these are all true angles, because they're parallel. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's take this row, we'll just finish this off and make an, an angle. The backside, no vanishing point for that. This is, see this a lot. It doesn't seem quite right because it's a perspective drawing and that the, if these two lines are parallel with each other, kind of seems like they should go to a vanishing point somewhere. But lines that are parallel to the picture plane, they never have vanishing points. The lines have to be at an angle to the picture plane to have a vanishing point. So we go along here, here's our road. And then it ends right there. And then let's say it goes downhill at like a 45 degree angle. So then you just take your triangle and here is a 45 degree angle heading like downhill. And the other side is going to be parallel. It's gonna be a very skinny line. So here's maybe if I Shade this in, shows up a little better.
So this is 30. And this is a 45 degree angle. I have no idea what this angle is because I just like randomly made up these vanishing points. If I made this a 30 degree angle and there's a 45 degree angle, I would have to put these in a specific place. So we haven't done that yet. Since this is parallel to the picture plane and it's touching the picture plane, if I wanted to know how long this is, I could just take my ruler and go like that. And this is each one of these are a unit and I could make them anything I want, mile, kilometer, whatever, I can make this, I can make this equal, whatever. And so I come over, I'm just going to continue to call them units. So here, this, this length is three. And this one is two. Round it off. You know. This is two, and this is three long. And these are, this is 45, and this is 30. Uh, this one, I have no idea what length that is because I just kind of randomly stopped right there. So we could backward engineer this and figure out what this angle is and how long this is. But that's um, coming up. We're going to make these specific angles in perspective and spe specific measurements. This is where it gets a little harder. And uh, But we still have two-point perspective. I'm going to do kind of a similar thing like this in two-point perspective, which is a little more tricky than the one-point perspective inclines. So I guess that will probably be the next one. Two-point perspective, like simple, basic uh, inclines in two-point perspective.